So there are so many SEO techniques you could use to get more organic search traffic, but today I wanna to show you seven of my go-to techniques. So the cool part is that you can take advantage of these even if you're a beginner or a pro. And I'm super excited to show you SEO technique number three because it only takes two seconds to implement, but it can drive a ton of new organic search traffic to your site. So please let me know you're pumped about this video by liking it and leaving a comment below. Let's jump right in. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button because you'll get first access when I publish new SEO videos like this one. So the first SEO technique is what I call the predictive links technique. So let me ask you a question. What if you could create pages on your site that attracted backlinks like clockwork? That's possible when you use the predictive links technique. And the best part is that it's super simple. Here's what you need to do. The first step is to examine your competitor's most linked to pages. Just open up Ahrefs and enter a competitor's domain into the site explorer. Then click on best by links. And within seconds, you'll see what topics have attracted the most backlinks in your industry. You can also use this same technique for creating successful content on social media. Just go to BuzzSumo and enter a topic. Then you'll have access to ideas that are proven to attract social shares and even links. You can also do the same thing with YouTube. Just go to a popular channel in your industry and sort their videos by most popular. And within seconds, you'll see the ideas that your industry is most interested in and what they engage with the most. So the second step is to create a page around the same topic, but make it 10 times different and better. So whether you're using this method to attract links, get more social traction, or dominate YouTube, the principle is the same. You're simply going to create a content asset that's 10 times different and better than your competitors. And fortunately, I have several videos on my channel showing you exactly how to do that, so make sure you check those out. So the third step of the process is to reach out to the people that linked to your competitor's content. I recommend testing the waters, which is a concept I teach inside Gotcha SEO Academy, before pitching your content when you use this strategy. Just send a simple outreach email like this. And if the prospect complies, then send them this email. I highly recommend testing many different templates for the second email until you hit a sweet spot. Just make sure you're giving something of value when you're asking for a link. The second SEO technique is what I call reverse guest posting. So this is by far one of the most untapped link building methods. In short, you're going to pitch experts who have blogs to create content on your site as a guest author. Now it's an easy pitch for you if you have some traffic and a decent audience because most experts want to promote themselves. For example, I had Vincito from um, Sharp Rocket write a guest post for gotchaseo.com and check out the links that it's picked up since then. So this strategy is a win-win for both of us because he gets exposure to my audience and my blog gets exposure from the promotion he'll do on his side. Now there are a few important points to keep in mind about this strategy. So first, be selective about who can write for your blog and ideally they should have an audience of their own. Secondly, make sure they write on a topic that you haven't covered yet to avoid keyword cannibalization which is when multiple pages are targeting the same keyword phrases on your website. The third SEO technique is what I call the phantom technique. Now this is the most basic technique on this list, but you wouldn't believe how many sites don't take advantage of it. All you need to do is add best or the year onto your title tag wherever it makes sense. I recently finished a few hundred SEO content audits and 95% of these clients aren't using title modifiers. It's truly crazy how much traffic you actually miss out on when you don't use them. For example, we added the year 2019 to a client's page and now their top three most popular queries have the year attached to it. And although we would be getting traffic for the primary phrase, we would have missed out on over a thousand new organic search visitors. Now there aren't many easy wins in SEO, but using the phantom technique is definitely one of them. The fourth SEO technique is what I call the tunnel vision technique. One of the biggest mistakes I see websites make is trying to target too many keywords at one time. It's so much better to have tunnel vision and allocate all of your resources to dominating one keyword phrase. And that's exactly how we grew this client's organic search traffic by 1,059%. We only focused on one blog post and used all of our resources to A, make the blog post incredible 
searchable and B, acquire as many links as we needed to that blog post. So having this type of tunnel vision directs all your focus and resources and helps you avoid spreading your resources too thin. So here's how to execute the tunnel vision technique. First, identify a qualified keyword. Second, allocate your resources to dominating that keyword. Third, keep working on the page and promoting it until it ranks. And lastly, once the page is ranking in the top five, move on to another keyword phrase. So the fifth SEO technique is what I call the spider food technique. So if you want a particular page on your website to rank better in Google, then you need to show Google's crawler that it's a priority. That means you need to move your page higher up into your site architecture. And once you do that, Google will be able to crawl that page easier and more frequently. It also signals to Google that your target page is important. So here's an example. If you go to the Gotcha SEO blog, you'll see that there's a blog post titled how to learn SEO in 2019 according to 130 experts. And when you click on that blog post and scroll down to the start learning now with these SEO resources, you'll see that I've linked to many of my other blog posts. Well, this blog post about how to learn SEO is pinned to my blog page because I want Google to not only crawl that page, but also crawl all the important blog posts that I'm linking to from that post. It also means that any backlinks that are acquired to my learn SEO blog post will send link equity and authority to all the other blog posts I've linked to. So here's the big takeaway. Make your most important SEO driven pages easily accessible to Google's crawler. The sixth SEO technique you have to use is the LIS technique. So what qualities make people want to link to your website? Well, there are many qualities, but there's one that helps enormously, and that's the concept of length implies strength, or LIS. So have you ever seen one of those super long sales letters that seem to scroll for decades? Well, that's not by accident. Long sales letters leverage this concept because a longer sales letter persuades you to believe that the product has more to offer, even if that isn't necessarily true. So with that said, you can apply this same principle to your SEO driven pages as well. So one of the easiest actions you can take is to simply make your content longer and more in depth. The truth is no one is going to link to a page with 400 words. People only link to pages that add massive, unique value. For example, if you examine what pages have attracted the most backlinks on Gotcha SEO, you would see that they are all of my longest pieces of content. The average word count for my top four most linked to content assets is 7,223 words. That's pretty insane, right? Well, here's the main takeaway. If you want more links, write longer content. But before you do that, it's important not to take this out of context. It needs to be well thought out, unique, and should add massive amounts of value. Don't just add words to a page just to have words. Add them because it helps the user in some way. And the final SEO technique I recommend using is what I call the relationship accelerator technique. So the relationship accelerator technique serves a dual purpose. First, it can help you build relationships with key linkerati, which are people who are capable and willing to link to you. Second, it can help you score links with very little effort. Now there are a few different ways to go about this, but my favorite techniques are to, number one, host expert rounds. Roundups. Number two, host interviews. And number three, ask for expert contributions to your content. In short, you're giving value upfront because you're going to link to these experts' website. And in exchange, you're A, building a relationship with someone who has influence, and B, they might link to or at least share the content they were featured in. And the truth is, even if you don't score a link, the relationship you'll build can lead to something of value in the future. So those are a few of my favorite SEO techniques. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe because I have some really cool stuff coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.